Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today, we're going to talk about LXO International AS and A Levels Further Pure Mathematics 3. In this lecture, we're going to discuss Chapter 4, Integration. So before we start talking about today's content, we would like to do a quick review of integration by parts. So let's say if we have two functions, u, x, and also v, x. So we have ux times vx, and its derivative with respect to x equals to u prime x times vx, and plus v prime x ux. Okay, so we know integration is the inverse process of differentiation. So now if we do the differentiation of ux times v prime x dx and plus the integration of u prime x vx dx. So what does this equals to? So this one will be integration of ux v prime x and plus u prime x vx dx. Okay, and according to the above, so this one will be the derivative of ux times vx. Okay, so it equals to ux times vx. Okay, so now if we want to do the integration of ux times v prime x, so this one will be ux times vx and minus the integration of u prime x vx dx. Okay, so this is the uh, integration by parts. Okay, so now let's take a look at the first question, which is on page 72, and it's question 1a. So we want to find out the integration of r shine x. So how do we do this? Okay, so we can use the formula above, right? So what will be our ux? So we just denote ux equals to r shine x. And then we will have our v prime x equals to 1. Because r shine x equals to r shine x times 1. So this one equals to ux times vx and minus u prime x vx dx. Okay, so we know v prime x is 1. So from this, vx equals to x. So this will be x times r shine x and minus the derivative of r shine x. So we learned about this in the, uh, I think, chapter 3. So we'll have square root of x squared plus 1. And vx will just be x. Okay, so we keep this x times r shine x. And for this one, we'll have x squared plus 1, 1 over 2. Now let's just do a derivative. So we have x squared plus 1, negative 1 over 2, times 1 over 2, and times 2x. Okay, so we don't need to change anything. And plus a constant c. Okay, so that's how we use the integration by part to do this problem. We can also use substitution. Uh, let me just change the color. So we'll let u equals to r shine x. Okay, so x will be shine u. So dx du. So we just look at this function here, right, which is cosh u. Okay, so this r shine x dx equals to so u and times cosh u and du. Okay, so this one we can also use integration by part. So first we can think about u shine u. So its derivative will be u cosh u and then plus shine u. Okay, so if we do the integration of u cosh u and plus integration of shine u, so we'll have this is u shine u. Okay, so this one equals to u times shine u and minus the integration of shine u. 
Okay, so we have u times shy u and also minus cosh u and plus a constant c. Okay, so u is r shy x, so we just write here r shy x and shy u is just x. And how about cosh u? So we know cosh u square my equals to 1 plus shy u square. So equals to 1 plus x square. So cosh u will be square root of 1 plus x square and plus a constant c. Okay, so if we compare this with the above result, this one. So they are the same thing. So you can use uh, like either substitution or you can just think about this v prime x equals to 1 and to find out the integration of the inverse uh, hyperbolic function. So now let's take a look at question 2 which is still on page 72. So we want to find out the integration of arc tangent 3x. Okay, so maybe we can use substitution first, right? So we let u equals to arc tangent 3x. So we'll have tangent u equals to 3x. So first we'll have this dx du. So this will be 1 over 3 and then sec u squared. Okay, so this one equals to, let's just write here, arc tangent 3x, so we have u. And dx equals to 1 over 3 sec square u, and then du. Okay, so we can think about um, u times tangent u, right? So if we do its derivative, will be u times sec square u, and also plus tangent u. Okay, so this one will be 1 over 3. And then we know the integration of u sec square u equals to u times tangent u minus the integration of tangent u. Okay, so this one will be u times tangent u minus the integration of, let's do, uh, we don't have this, so sine u over cosine u du. Okay, so we'll have 1 over 3, and then we have u tangent u. And this one will be, so ln cosine u derivative equals to cosine u negative sine u, right? So this will just be plus ln cosine u, and then plus a constant c. Okay, so u is arctangent 3x, tangent u is 3x, so we have x times arc tangent 3x and then we have 1 over 3 ln cosine u so how do we find out cosine u so tangent u equals to 3x so 1 plus tangent square u equals to 1 over cosine square u right so we'll have cosine square u equals to 1 over 1 plus 9x square okay so this one will be 1 over 1 plus 9x squared. Uh, let me see if that's correct. So we'll have this cosine square u. Yes, and then square root. Because we have cosine u here and plus a constant c. Okay, so this one will be x arc tangent 3x. And we can take out this 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 6 long. Uh, 1 over 1 minus 9x squared plus c. Okay, so that's how we do this question. You can also use uh, the previous method. So as we mentioned, so we know the derivative of, uh, sorry, the integration of u v prime, right? So equals to u v minus the integration of u prime v. Okay, so here we can let u equals to arc tangent 3x and v equals to 1, uh, sorry, v prime equals to 1. So we have v equals to x. And then we have u prime equals to, so it will be 1 plus 3x squared, so 9x squared, and then times 3. Okay, so this arc tangent 3x dx 
equals to u times v. So we have x times arc tangent, 3x, and minus u prime, so 3, and v is x, 3x, 1 plus 9x squared dx. Okay, equals to x arc tangent, 3x minus, so we have ln 1 plus 9x squared, and then we need to adjust for the coefficient. So ln 1 minus 9x squared, derivative will be 9x squared, and then 18x. But here we have uh, negative 3x, so we have 2 times 1 over 6. Okay, and then plus a constant c. Okay, so they are the same thing, right? Because here we have 1 over 1 plus 9x squared. So if you take out this uh, fraction, we'll have this minus 1 over 6 ln 1 plus 9x squared. Okay, so maybe we can take a look at another question. So this is question 3 on page 73. Okay, so we have r cosh x dx. Okay, so we can use the first method. We let u equals to r cosh x. So cosh u equals to x. So dx du equals to shine u. So this one will be u times shine u and then du. Okay, so we can think about u cosh u. So its derivative will be u shine u and plus cosh u. So u cosh u's integration will be u cosh u minus the integration of cosh u. Okay, so we have u cosh u and minus shine u and plus a constant c. Okay, so u is r cosh x and cosh u is x, so we have x times r cosh x. And how about shine u? So we know cosh u equals to x, so cosh u squared minus 1 equals to shine u squared. So this one will be square root of x squared minus 1 and plus a constant c. Okay, so let's use the other method. So this time, we'll let u equals to r cosh x and v prime equals to 1. Right. So here we'll just have u times v prime. And we know this one is uv minus the integration of u prime v. Okay, so v from this one we know it is x. So we have x times r cosh x and minus u prime. So the derivative of r cosh x will be 1 over square root of x squared minus 1. And v is just x. Okay, so we have x times r cosh x, and here we'll have x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Let's try to adjust the coefficient. So we do the derivative will be x squared minus 1, 1 over 2 here, and then 1 over 2 times 2x, right? So we don't need to change anything. So this will be the result, which is the same as above. Okay, so now let's take a look at the integration of uh, arc sec x. So how do we do this question? So still, we can let this u equals to arc sec x, right? So v prime equals to 1. So this one will become integration of u v prime. So equals to u v minus integration of u prime v. Okay, so u is arc sec x, and v, we know it is x. So we have x times arc sec x, and minus integration. What will be u prime? So this one will be the derivative of uh, sec, uh, arc sec x, so which is 1 over x square root of x squared minus 1. And v will be x. So we have this thing here. So we have x times arc sec x and minus the integration of 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 dx. So we talked about this before, right? So we'll let x equals to cosh, uh, maybe t. Okay, so dx dt will be shine t. So here we have x times arc sec x. Minus, so here will be 
Ah, uh, shine t square, so will be shine t. So dx will be shine t dt. Okay, so we have x arc sec x minus t plus c. Okay, so we have x times arc sec x. So what will be t? T will be uh, arc cos x, so minus arc cos x and plus a constant c. Okay, and also we know arc cos x equals to ln x plus square root of x squared minus 1. So this one is x times arc sec x minus ln x plus square root of x squared minus 1 and plus a constant c. Okay, so that's how we do this question. Okay, so maybe we can use the other method, right? So this time we'll let u equals to arc sec x. So we'll have x equals to sec u. Okay, so now we can do the derivative. So dx du equals to sec u times tangent u. So the above integration becomes u times sec u tangent u and then du. Okay, so we can think about this sec u times u derivative. So this one equals to u times sec u tangent u and plus sec u. So the integration of u sec u tangent u will be u times sec u minus the integration of sec u. Okay, so first we have u equals to arc sec x and sec u equals to x. So we have x times arc sec x. And now we just need to find out the integration of sec u. Actually, this one is pretty tricky. It's not as trivial as it looks, right? So first we can write this sec u as 1 over cosine u du. Okay, and then what we can do is we can times cosine u to both top and bottom. So here actually it's out of scope, but just for your interest. Okay, so we'll have this cosine u here. And then cosine square u will be changed to 1 minus sine u square. Okay, we can let y equals to sine u. So dy du equals to cosine u. So du will be dy over cosine u. So here will be 1 minus y squared. And we know cosine u times du is dy. Okay, so this one, actually we talked about this, I think, in the previous lecture. So we'll have this separated into two parts. So 1 over 2, right? So here will be 1 minus y, 1 dy, and plus 1 over 2. And we have 1 plus y dy. This one will be 1 over 2 ln 1 plus y over 1 minus y. Okay, so now we just need to plug in all the values. So 1 over 2 ln. So what is y? y is sine u. And what is y here? 1 minus sine u plus c. Okay, and then we don't have u, so we have to use uh, arc to represent this. So we know x equals to sec u. And now we want to find out sine u. So how do we do this? So x equals to 1 over cosine u. Okay, so cosine u will be 1 over x. So sine u will be square root of 1 minus cosine u square x square. So this one will be x square root of x square minus 1. Okay, so we have x arc sec x minus 1 over 2 long. So we have x, x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And here we have x minus square root of x minus 1 plus c. And x, x can be cancelled, right? So we have x arc sec x minus 1 over 2. So here we can times x minus square root of x um, square minus 1. So we do the rationalize. So the bottom will just be 1 and the top will be x plus x squared minus 1 squared. And this square and this 1 over 2 can be simplified. So we have plus c. Okay, so we got the same result as above. 
So that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.